Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can include a Wakelet collection in your EduBlogs blog or in Google Sites. Now, if you're not familiar with Wakelet, it's a great service for creating a digital collection of some of your favorite bookmarks, notes, and pictures and videos. So here I am in my Wakelet account, and I'm going to go in and I want to share this. Now, if I just hit the share button, that's simply going to give me a link that I can post in various places. But in this case, what I want to do is I actually want to include it in a blog post or include it in a web page. So to do that, let's hover over this little menu to the right to the right of the share button. Select embed. We can choose the layout. So we want to have a smaller grid format like this one, we can do that, use it that way, or use it that way. I'm gonna use this small grid here. We can include a border around it if we like. We can turn the description on or off and choose a different theme. Now just copy this embed code. And that embed code, if I wanna use it in my EduBlog site, I'll just simply go into my EduBlogs dashboard. I'm going to create a new post. Give it a title. I want to make sure that I'm using the text editor and not the visual editor. So I use the text editor. I'm going to paste that into place. Publish it. And now we'll see that Wakelet collection included right in the blog post and you can toggle through it just like you would on the Wakelet website. Now to do this in Google Sites, the process is very similar. Go to the page that you want to include your Wakelet collection in, select the embed button, and instead of using by URL, select embed code, paste that into place. Hit the insert button, and then you can resize it as you see fit just by clicking and dragging, just like you would do any other element in your Google Sites. So that's how you can include your Wakelet collections in EduBlogs and in Google Sites. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.